Hello and welcome to this screencast on the normal vector. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to draw a plane. This plane is meant to be in three-dimensional space. Uh, so this is a flat two-dimensional object in three-dimensional space. Now, the normal vector to this plane is a vector that points perpendicularly away from the plane. Okay, so it makes it right angles with the plane. And what I do is I denote this vector as being the vector n. And that is called the normal vector. So the normal vector is simply a vector that points at right angles or perpendicularly away from a plane. OK, so if this plane has any three points on it, so I'm going to define these points as being the uh, position vectors P, Q and R. Now these three points can exist anywhere on this plane. I've drawn them here at the corners, but they can exist anywhere on the plane. OK, well, if we have those positions there, we can define a vector points from P to Q, using this red arrow here, and this is going to be called my vector A. So vector A points from P to Q, and I can define another vector that points from Q to R. So this is the blue arrow, and I'm going to call this vector B. Okay. So if I have those two vectors A and B, my normal vector N can be defined simply by the cross product of A and B. Now, if you're unsure what cross product is, I suggest you go back and look at the screencast on the cross product. Okay, so N, the normal vector, is a cross product between A and B. Okay, so let's have a look at an example. So I'm going to define a plane which has these three points on it. So P, and it's going to have the coordinates 1, 1, 0, Q, it has coordinates 4, 2, and 1. And finally, the point R for our coordinates 5, 3, and 0. So these are all three tuples, so all exist in three dimensional space. First thing I need to do is calculate my vectors A and B. Now, the vector A points from P to Q. Okay, so A is simply the point Q minus the position vector or the coordinates p. Okay, so q is 4, 2, and 1. And from that we subtract p, which has coordinates 1, 1, and 0. And we end up with a vector 3, 1, 1. Okay, so that's just the subtraction of two vectors. Okay, I could do the same for my vector uh, b. So b points from q to r. Now, B doesn't have to always point from Q to R. It can actually point from P to R. So just A and B just has to be any two vectors on this plane. Okay. So if you wanted to, you could have a vector point from P, uh, P to R. When you find the cross product, you still get the same normal vector. So it doesn't really matter. Okay. So in this, oh, I have spot the deliberate mistake. So if it points from Q to R, B is equal to R minus Q. Okay. R minus Q. So uh, vector r is 5, 3, and 0. Vector q is 4, 2, and 1. And if we subtract those two, we end up with 1, 1, and minus 1. OK. Right, so now we've got our two vectors a and b. We just simply have to calculate their cross product. OK, so if I scroll down a bit and change the colour. So remember the cross product, so the normal vector is equal to A cross B, and if you've watched the previous screencast on the cross product, we form a 3 by 3 matrix, where the top row are the basis vectors i, j, k, the second row is my vector A, and my third row is my vector B. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use Saris's rule for calculating this cross product. So remember, we take the first two columns and we write them to the right. So i and j, 3 and 1, and we also have 1 and 1. OK, so remember, using Saris's rule, uh, we draw our diagonal lines. So starting from a, go down and to the right, j, down and to the right, and the same with k. Okay, so right. Well, what have we got? So we've got i multiplied by 1 
multiplied by minus 1, so we have minus 1i, in other words, minus i. We have j times 1 times 1, which is plus j. And I have k times 3 times 1, which is plus 3k. Right, so that's the uh, down uh, diagonals done. Now I draw the three up diagonals, so starting from here, I go up and to the right. And I draw these three diagonals. Okay, and this time, remember, I subtract the product of these. So, okay, so I've got k times 1 times 1, so that would be minus k. Um, I've got i times 1 times 1, which is minus i. And I've got j times 3 times minus 1, so that would be plus 3j. Okay, so let's combine the like terms. So I have a minus i here and a minus i here, so that's minus 2i. I have a plus j here and plus 3j there, so that's plus 4j. And I have a 3k minus k, so that's plus 2k. And if we write that uh, in a 3 tuple of minus 2, 4, and 2. Okay, so that's the normal vector uh, for the plane defined by those three points P, Q, and R. It's quite usual to actually calculate the unit normal vector. It has a lot of uh, useful applications. So remember, when we calculate the unit normal or unit vector of any vector, we need its magnitude. So just calculate the magnitude of n. So that's minus 2 squared plus 4 squared plus 2 squared. Hopefully this should be a fairly straightforward calculation for you now. Okay, so we have 4 plus 16 plus, 20, uh, plus 4. And that it will be equal to the square root of 24. And I'm going to leave it in that form. Okay, so simply the square root of 24. Okay, so now we can just calculate the unit normal vector of n. So remember, a unit vector is denoted by this hat over the vector. Okay, so what we have is our normal vector, which is minus 2, 4, and 2. We divide that by its magnitude, which was the square root of 24. Okay, I'll just tidy that up a bit. So we have minus 2 divided by the square root of 24. Uh, we have 4 divided by the square root of 24 as well. And finally, 2 divided by the square root of 24. Okay, so that's our unit normal vector for that uh, plane defined by those three points. Okay, so this one up here is simply the normal vector, and we just normalised it to give it a unit normal vector. So, right, so we're happy we can calculate the normal vector to a plane.